welcome to the Mind Body Soul Experience. We're here on the Oracle TV Pop Up Studio Stand 24, and I'm here with Jill Pay from Acorn to Oak. Hi, Jill. Hi. Now, can you tell me a little bit about what you do at Acorn to Oak? Well, Acorn to Oak is made up of a group of um, people who are all individually complementary health practitioners, okay. and we are also some of us are trained trainers as well mm -hmm. so as well as practicing those therapies we also train people mm -hmm. to become practitioners yeah. and where are you based we're based in um, Surrey and in London okay. and we also have people um, affiliates who are in uh, Somerset and in Lincolnshire as well so we're kind of spread out a bit and how has it been for you at the exhibition here this weekend it's been a really good experience to be here actually for the three days we've met a lot of people we've done treatments we've been we've met other people who are doing different things as well so there's been some networking it's been really really good and, and for you personally what kind of therapies do you work with I'm uh, most of us at Acorn to work are Reiki practitioners yeah. or Reiki masters. I'm a Reiki master teacher, so I practice and teach Reiki. Yeah. I'm also a practitioner of a therapy called Breath for Life Breathwork Therapy, and it's a dynamic form of breathwork therapy, which is all about emotional health, emotional intelligence, mm. and reintegrating the energy of emotions that has been suppressed. Now that's really interesting because not many therapies um, are sort of very overtly acknowledging that emotional aspect to the healing That's but right. in fact it's just they're so intr intrinsically linked aren't they absolutely I actually honestly believe that when we talk about mental health we're not really talking about mental health we're talking about emotional health yeah. and in fact a lot of the mental health services could do very well if they embrace the whole idea that actually the emotional side of our lives is as important if not more important sometimes yeah. than our conscious mind yeah and um, working in an environment like this with you know up to 27,000 people coming through in, in three days I mean that's how many people have visited the experience yes. this weekend how has that been for you doing treatments in this environment is it a first time for you or you know? um, I've actually done a lot of shows um, I've done shows here at Olympia before as Icon to Oak, one of the things we, one of the first things we teach anybody who comes to our courses is how to ground and protect. Yeah. It's the most basic thing if you're doing any kind of energetic work is to know how to ground your energy and protect yourself. And we protect ourselves, we protect the whole stand so that people coming into the stand also feel that freshness of the energy and we are protected because there's a lot of different things going on yeah. here and it's so it's it's being in a quite a sort of soup of energy yeah. in these shows which is why we what the show's about but we have to find a way of keeping our energy clear yeah. and we use energetic tools to do that okay and and what kind of tools are they we use Reiki a lot. Yeah. Reiki is the basic tool that we use when we're talking about keeping the energy clear. So we use the symbols of yes. the Reiki. We also use uh, visualization, energetic visualization techniques. Well, I can to, feel that as you do that. <laughs> to, 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 the, to ground, so we make sure we're, we're grounded and connected to yeah. source as yeah. well. So, And we protect as well. So it's, that is basic to all the, all of the things we do. And tell me about the training and the teaching. So what, is that one of the reasons to be here? It's not just to give taster sessions, but it's actually to be a resource for people who want to learn? That's right. Um, Acorn 12 is, has very high standards for its training courses. And our Reiki courses, for example, we're very clear that it's not just attuning people. It's actually a training. It's about energy. Everything we do is based in an understanding that we are energy beings, mm. that everything actually is energy, and that Reiki, for example, is an energetic therapy that works with the energy body as much as in terms of the physical and the energy body being one. Mm. So in terms of our trainings, we're very clear that it's very important that people understand that they are taking a responsibility for their own energetic mm. hygiene as well which is why we teach those tools and the, 
and the theory and the practice are very, very broad. We talk a lot about energetics, an energetic model of health, disease and cure and how, the, how disease comes in and how you can then start to reverse that process yeah. and effect a real cure. That's amazing. So do your attunements then take more than one day? Yes. Okay. Our Reiki 1 courses are over two days minimum. Yeah. We also, we also allocate anybody who comes into our Reiki 1 course is allocated a mentor that will be a Reiki master who then helps them for the, at least 21 days post the course yeah. and if they go on to do further courses takes them through beyond that. Oh, that's so lovely. anything that comes up for that person. We've learnt a lot over the years that shows we've met many people who've been left feeling quite unsafe and ungrounded after going through Reiki attunements yeah. with people. And we're very clear that we have a responsibility when we're attuning that people have tools that they can use to support themselves when they begin on a journey of energetic discovery, if you like. Is it true that after you've been attuned by somebody, you've got a kind of energetic connection to them? Yeah, yeah. It, it is, it is. Although we really see very much ourselves as channels for that yeah. as well. Yeah. We work with guides. We have Reiki guides, we have breathwork guides, uh, we have guides of, of all types. Acorn to Oak have their own specific guides as well. So we're very aware that actually it's us being there present, but we're channeling. So in yeah. terms of the attunement, as a Reiki master attuning, you're working very much as a channel for that attunement. Yeah. But yes people do do form a, a relationship with their Reiki master and often people stay with the same Reiki master throughout yeah. their journey. If they go to a different one does that kind of like almost cancel out that connection with the first one? Um, I don't I wouldn't suggest that because we do have people come in maybe at, who've done Reiki 1 or even Reiki 2 and come onto our master pathway um, who've done their Reiki 1 and 2 elsewhere and it and we just they, they come in and um, it doesn't seem to make yeah. too much of a difference. Occasionally we might give them an extra attunement just to ground them in our energy, for example, but only if it's appropriate, only if it feels like the right thing to do. Um, but we are very clear about responsibility yeah. and the fact that actually Reiki is a very powerful tool and a very very useful tool for people to have in their lives on an effort as an energetic tool but there is a responsibility that comes with that as well and we take very great care about the fact the take on to work. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for You're joining us today and um, for having such a wonderful exhibition. No, no it's been a real, real yeah. joy actually to be here for three days and, and to be tweeting and all yeah. sorts of things <laughs> and feeling part of the, of the whole thing yeah. as well. Thank, Thank you very, you very much. much. Thank you.